Variable one, visual feedback. For this variable, the subject will squeeze as hard as they can for 80 seconds. And then after those 80 seconds, they're gonna be allowed to look at the screen for 20 seconds and see if that will help them push past their fatigue. Attach three electrode tabs to the arm of the subject. Two tabs should be placed on the ventral forearm, five centimeters and 10 centimeters from the medial epicondyle, along with an imaginary line connecting the medial epicondyle and the middle finger. Attach the third tab to the upper arm. Attach the red and green tabs to the tabs on the forearm. For this lab, the red and green leads are interchangeable. Attach the black leads to the tab on the upper arm. Have the subject stand, the elbow should be at a 90 degree angle with the arm unsupported. The subject should be turned away from the computer screen. Prior to starting, make sure you zero each one of the sensors. Change your settings to fit what is needed for the lab. Hit the button here. You're gonna change this to 100. You're gonna change this to 100 seconds. Now you're set up and ready for the lab. For variable one, the subject will squeeze as hard as they can for 80 seconds while not looking at the screen. Then they will be allowed to look at the screen for the last 20 seconds. Now we are going to read the data for variable one, visual feedback. The first thing we're going to do is read the force. You can see it's here. We're going to find the end line. We're going to hold down and select from 0 to 20. Make sure this is all the way over. You're going to hit the graph, hit view statistics, and it gives you the mean. We're going to fill in the data as we move along. So for the mean grip strength for 0 to 20 seconds, we got 97.2. Remember, we're rounding it to the closest 0.1. We're then going to select from 20 to 60 by holding down, getting as close to what we want. Hit the graph, view statistics, and again, and again, it'll give you the mean. For 20 to 40, we got 86.2. We're going to select 40 to 60 this time. We're going to hit the graph, view statistics, and it will give you the mean. For 40 through 60, we got 86.0. We're going to select 60 to 80. We're going to hit the graph, view statistics, it will give you the mean. For 60 through 80, we got 63.5. And lastly, we're going to take 60 or 80 to 100. We're going to hit the graph, view statistics, and it will give you the mean. For 80 through 100, we got 39.5. We're gonna take a look at the EMG in MVs. We're gonna read from zero to 20. So we're going to select and highlight from zero to 20. We're gonna get as close as we can. We're gonna hit the graph, view statistics, and we're going to look at the minimum and the maximum MVs. We're gonna fill in the maximum and the minimum for each of the values. Let's start with zero through 20, which we just read. The maximum was 2.34. On this one, we're going to round to the closest 
0.01. The minimum was negative 0 0.78. We're now going to select 20 through 40. We're going to hit the graph, view statistics, and again, we're going to look at the minimum and maximum MVs. For 20 to 40, for the maximum, we got 0 0.39, and for the minimum, we got negative 0 0.34. We're going to select 40 through 60, we're going to hit the graph, view statistics, and again, we're going to look for the minimum and the maximum MVs. For 40 through 60, we got, for a maximum, 1.23. For the minimum, we got negative 0 0.52. We're going to select 60 to 80. We're going to hit the graph, view statistics, and again, look at the minimum and the maximum. For 60 through 80, we got a maximum of 1.06, and for the minimum, we got negative 0.36. And one last time, 80 to 100, hit the graph, view statistics, and now we have the minimum and the maximum. 80 to 100, for the maximum, we got 0 0.33, and for the minimum, we got a negative 0 0.35. Now, it's your job to find the delta V or the change between the two numbers. Now that we have all the data, you can start doing the lab report. A template for the lab report can be found in the description below.